The Horse Raider is the standard cavalry line of Sturgia. Starting at tier 4, this line is known for its glass cannon style of combat, mainly because it's the cavalry unit with the least amount of armor at tier 5. As it is a glass cannon, the role of this troop is not to simply charge the enemy, but rather flank them and use their javelins to keep distance. As always, Cavalry in this game doesn't have it easy, and in order for a cavalry unit like the Horse Raider to perform well, heavy armor will be required. And for cavalry, I think that's the first thing to cover. In the case of the Horse Raider, it brings a good value of 50 head armor brought by the goggled helmet over mail. This will place the Raiders in 5th place among cavalry and 11th overall. The body armor is not quite as impressive, with a value of just 35 brought by the heavy lamellar vest. This unit's pauldrons will no add to this value, as they only add arm armor. With a value of 35, the raider will rank 8th among cavalry units and 27th overall. When it comes to the horse and barding, the raider rides a sturgeon chaser protected by the ragged force saddle that brings an impressive 10 horse armor. Needless to say, the blanket made by your favorite grandma would likely give more protection to the beast underneath, but with such a low value, it should be no surprise that this unit ranked last among cavalry, and when combined with one of the weakest ores in terms of HP, it quickly becomes a problem. It's not rare to see these guys getting dismounted because their ores died. When considering head plus body, the raiders ranked 8th among cavalry with a value of 85, but they gained 2 positions when considering all armor types. With the armor out of the way, let's talk about the equipment. The main weapon of the raider is the jagged fine steel spear. It has a very good 85 thrust speed. The length is a very short 161, shortest among cavalry. That's what she said. The base damage is a respectable 35. The polearm is not the best since the length of 161 falls short in many situations for cavalry, but can be quite good when the unit is dismounted. Too bad, the bad overall armor of the unit drags it down and makes it not a worthwhile unit as a foot spearman. Also, the next item plays a role in why this unit isn't good in a spearman role. Next up, we have the most iconic piece of equipment of the unit, one set of broad blade javelins. With a pretty average damage of 101, these sticks will be the deadliest weapon this unit will end up using. When used correctly, a lot of damage can be done with them, and they also synergize with the axemen and the line breakers for an army composition. When considering why this weapon is not great at dealing with cavalry, it's because it's a very short weapon and at times the horse raider will end up using it even if they have a spear. Talking about the shield, the raiders bring a large round shield. It has 480 HP and like the other sturgeons, the length is just 70. Despite that, it still does a very good job in protecting the unit from projectiles, as they cover the head and upper body very well. For close quarter combat, the raiders have two different templates, each one with a different weapon, one of which is very good and the other other isn't. Starting from the good one, we have the Veteran Warrior Axe. If this weapon sounds familiar, it's because the Axemen and the Druziniks also use it. For the Raiders, unfortunately, it doesn't work as well since they bring far less armor than the other two units. So for those wondering if armor matters, yes, it bloody does. The other weapon the Raiders bring is the Fuller and Narrow Sword, a fast swinger with a low damage for a cutter and very short for being a sword. Unfortunately, this one is not as good, but it could be much worse as well. Now that we are done with the equipment, let's see where this unit ranked across cavalry units. When considering the efficiency against archers, the raiders finished 7th, with 1 4th place, 2 5th places, and 1 6th place. They finished with a KD of 7.15 and a KD of 10.34 against low tiers. The raiders lost 32.38% of their units and their average casualty chance against low tiers was 16.2%. When considering efficiency against spearmen, the raiders finished 5th, with 1 5th place, 2 4th places, and 1 3rd place. With an average KD of 7.14 and a KD versus low tiers of 101.22. The Raiders lost 12.24% of their units and ended with an average casualty chance against low tiers of 1.67%. And finally, when considering the melee efficiency, the Raiders ranked 3rd, with 2 3rd places and 2 4th places. With an average KD of 5.28 and a KD versus low tiers of 74.12. 
the Raiders ended up losing 26.95% of their units and averaged a 1.8% casualty chance against low tiers. As we can see from the stats, this unit is quite bad against projectiles units and is below average at dealing with infantry while mounted. This unit seems to be designed to be dismounted in most situations and use their oars to just get into a flanking position as they are an above average unit when fighting on foot. With all of this said, let's go ahead and list the pros and cons. The red armor is quite solid, but the body armor is lacking. The horse armor is also close to non-existent and the low HP value of the horse can be felt even more. They are a very versatile unit with one set of javelins, despite their poor armor they can fight quite well on foot but not as well as other units of the same faction. They aren't great at dealing with any kind of threat while mounted mainly because of their lack of force armor. They carry one good sidearm and a not so good one. As we might expect this unit is good for dismounting strategies and because of that it's a very solid option for sieges as well. The shield is good for cavalry and with the 480 HP value it can drain enemies arrows very effectively when needed. For those guys the upgrade line is not very good with the tier 2 unit being a shieldless skirmisher and getting a norse just at tier 4. They also require both a norse and a war horse to upgrade so they aren't even cheap. My final score is a 2 out of 5. The horse raider is not a good unit but it's one of those units that can fill a role that is lacking in the faction. They are the only sturgeon troop that brings javelins over axes and despite their low armor value they can still hold their own in this mounted combat. Unfortunately they are a squishy cavalry option both for lancing and skirmishing making them the worst mounted skirmishers in the game. Anyway, if you want to see more videos like this be sure to click on the playlist on your right or on your left is the video YouTube thinks you might be interested in next. Thanks for watching and if you want to help a small channel grow consider subscribing as we are currently a few subs away from reaching 1000.